Hey Virgo, what's up? Welcome to your January reading. I hope that you guys are having an awesome day. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate all of the love that I've been getting from you guys. If this reading is helpful or insightful, make sure you leave a like, comment down below, subscribe to the channel, and if you'd like to book a private reading with me, the information is in the description box down below on how you can book. So, Virgo, with that being said, we're going to get right into this reading, see what message of spirit has for you, what you need to know for the month of January 2023. What's going on for Virgo? What do we have here? Woo, sheesh. Okay. Damn. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Swords. Two tens coming out together. This is significant that a big cycle has reached completion or is reaching completion in January. A cycle is closing out. You have completed something. It's served its purpose. You know, you might be going through it right now. You may feel like you've hit rock bottom. This might be involving other people that are close to you, family, where you work, something to do with your foundation or your structure, your definitely something to do that brings in stability here there's some sort of ending there's some sort of ending that's taken place or is happening uh some of you this this might be very specific but there could have been some sort of loss in the family my heart goes out to you my condolences if that message resonates if you recently lost someone that was close to you who virgo starting stop starting so strong so heavy i'm just sending you so much love your way you're feeling really heavy right now Let's just keep it going. Let's see what other messages need to come through for, for Virgo. I was going to call you Gemini for some reason. Maybe you got Gemini placements. Ow! I just got a pinch in my toe. Like, felt like something just stabbed my toe randomly. Like, I'm not even doing anything. <laughs> I don't know what the hell. Virgo, don't know what's going on. Um, what's going on for Virgo in January? You guys are talkative. We have the Five of Wands reversed with Queen of Swords and the Two of Cups. There's been some issues in a, in a relationship here. I'm going to get one more for Virgo in January. Thank you. Page of Wands. Six of Cups at the bottom. So there appears here that there's been a lot of arguing, a lot of conflict between you and another person or you and family members. Or there's just there's something going on that's creating tension and like you aren't seeing eye to eye with... Um, some sort of relationship here you're trying to get your point across queen of swords to the page of wands you're tr it's very clear it's very obvious to you but someone's not understanding or meeting you in the middle it's just like you know your ideas seem to be clashing right now and this is within some sort of relationship two of cups um you're trying to get your point across and someone doesn't want to hear you out or someone is just always trying to challenge you or um it just is making it a lot difficult than it needs to be so there's some sort of ending due to an argument or someone not seeing your side or someone being very stubborn in their ways. Um, and you're just not tolerating any crap as this Queen of Swords is showing up here. You're not tolerating less. You really are just like enough of the bullshit, enough of the games, enough of all this fluff. Um, you're just over this arguing and bickering and going back and forth and someone trying to get a rise out of you or a reaction out of you, you know? Um what the hell is going on virgo i'm gonna get three more what's going on for virgo in january 2023 what's going on for virgo in january we have the devil reversed whoa capricorn energy along with the three of cups give me one more for virgo in january 2023 i didn't come out there we go justice five of pentacles with the two of pentacles and the three of wands is at the bottom death so there is significant change happening for you virgo you're making changes to better your life okay right now you may not be feeling too hot okay so now we have two fives out here two fives and two tens um change is definitely happening where you know you're not at where you want to be in life there are some changes you know you need to make you have to make some decisions you got to get your life in order it's like you got to um get back into some sort of uh, routine or you're planning ahead for your future you're thinking a lot about your future you're making long-term goals and long-term plans and right now you're kind of struggling and you don't want to stay in this position you don't want to stay in this position where you're 
struggling financially, where you're struggling emotionally, where you're struggling with the relationships in your life, where there's just a bunch of conflict or drama or just toxicity, you're even in regards to yourself. I'm seeing here with the devil reversed to the three of cups. This is about you overcoming your own toxic habits, your own toxic traits, especially involving drinking or overindulgence or drugs or just like ways that you've been handling your emotions in like you know unhealthy ways unhealthy coping mechanisms you're really like some of you you are becoming um like clean or there's like you becoming sober or you getting some sort of assistance or help or therapy with justice coming out here you're finding ways where you can release this built-up anger or built-up resentment or hurt or you know you're finding healthy ways to release this energy your effort you're putting in effort to better your life and to overcome these demons because there was something that had power over you you gave your power away to something or someone something had control over you you gave your power away and you were unable to break out of this cycle and it was very damaging for you and it seems like in january it's just like you're you've hit this point where you have to like some of you almost had like a close call experience like i just have oh, this is random weird energy i'm picking up on but some of it's like you had a close call or like you had a wake-up call you had some sort of wake-up call or something something occurred to you or something occurred to um like someone close to you and it just made you like snap out or made you realize like oh my god i can't keep living my life like this or oh my god i need to make this change or oh my god like something has to change like it seems like as of in january you had some sort of wake-up call or someone that you're connecting with is making you realize like i can't keep doing this or i can't keep living this way or i need to make some sort of change in my life i gotta i gotta make better choices you know and so i'm seeing that in january you're making those choices it, it is significant um it might feel overwhelming for some of you where it's just like you know you don't know what steps to take or how to even start this this new process or this new journey there's there's maybe this back and forth where it's like you've tried before and maybe it wasn't successful in the past and so you know you're like if i try this again it may not work and i don't want to get disappointed but this time's different justice coming out this time's different this is about lessons that you've learned get that you've gained wisdom from these past experiences you have the ability to completely transform and change your life moving forwards and i feel that something that will help you page of wands is finding some sort of outlet or finding some sort of creative um endeavor or work on some sort of project or just having some sort of passion some sort of thing that you can focus on that you love doing that you enjoy doing you're also needing to surround yourself with people who are supportive people who believe in you people who love and care for you all right because some of you you are it's like the people you surround yourself with could be a bad influence or it's like you easily get sucked in or you easily you know you just get involved in situations that leave you kind of back where you started or maybe this is um you know with this five of pentacles it's something to do with the way you spend your money things like that where just there's been like um inconsistencies with even like how you've been earning your money and you're making you're making plans of like okay i'm gonna save i'm gonna invest money here or i'm gonna you know this is how i'm going to approach moving forward so that i can get out of this funky situation because ultimately no matter who you are whatever all the virgos i'm reading for it's like you're in a position here where it's like you've hit rock bottom things have really just like it's like it's been downhill but the worst is over and you know that something has to change and you got to make this plan there's definitely a lot of plans and steps that you need to make but that you can come out here a lot better um so you know beginning of 2023 whew, kind of a hot mess but by the end of the year you are going to be in a completely different position than where you are right now so just try and use that as like your motivation right you need to connect to something that motivates you that keeps you driven that keeps you focused so that you don't just like kind of fall off track you're needing to have some sort of focus you're needing to make some sort of focus or some sort of goal okay that's what's going to motivate you to make these changes okay with death out here this is scorpio energy um we also have libra and capricorn i'm seeing is there anything else no okay so yeah it's just like look at how in this three of wands 
there's like these group of people so this is like this could be involving like multiple people where it's like you and a group of people or a support group for some of you or it's like let's let's get our act together let's get on the same page let's make like these are some honest and open discussions about what changes need to be made so that you can come out feeling much more like basically where you can overcome um these struggles right but you can't do this alone you can't just do this all by yourself this is in a, like a group setting or like multiple people involved here but it's like it seems like you're going to be getting above your 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 tasks or your duties it's kind of like with this five of pentacles you got swamped and so much like you basically are just like i just like held down by all these burdens and responsibilities and it's just kind of like you know you have no money to money left for yourself it all goes to bills and the car and groceries and then you have zero left for yourself and you just feel swamped and you feel stuck and you feel restricted too now you getting above that having control and having more than enough so it's like it seems like you're you're really um grabbing a hold of you're just getting your shit together virgo and I think it's due to you making some sort of choice to remove someone from your life. Queen of Swords to the Two of Cups. It's like you are really laying down your your foundation in your relationships and these boundaries that you're setting. It's so important that you are very strict with your boundaries because I think that you've really like give people the benefit of the doubt or you've allowed people to take advantage or use you, especially like use you for your kindness, use you for your money, use you for like even a place to stay or like you would be willing to like rip the shirt off your back and give it to someone, right? Like you're very down to earth and you're very giving and caring and you may have like gone out of your way so many times for certain people who were not deserving and you know you've reached this place in your life where you're looking at these relationships that aren't benefiting you and you're like i can't keep this around me like i need to be around people who actually um want to do something with their lives or you know because it seems like you like i said it seems like you were around people that were not a good influence or you know you really just um there are someone that had control over you or someone who was very very toxic in your life very negative like lots of negative influences and it seems like in january you're making choices to remove yourself from those situations or like you're just you're changing you're making some sort of change here so that it doesn't affect you the way it used to especially your inner peace um so let let me clarify here let me look into death and see what are these changes that are happening for virgo there is some sort of you will be celebrating something right there is some sort of good news if you are dealing with legal matters forgot to mention right justice legal matters court it matters right if you're dealing with any legal matters or paperwork or documents i do see that there's a win-win out there's a win outcome for you you come out as a winner or you're going to be receiving some sort of good news and you'll probably be celebrating your win here um like let's say for example like if you are going through some sort of separation or divorce and you own property with someone or you have children with someone you know the custody you have to like you're dealing with legal matters like that maybe it's been a bit hung up or maybe there's been some delays i see that it's being taken care of or it's gonna be in the clear very soon so honestly um probably from around now to the 18th or after the 18th honestly because mars just went direct today woo thank god i'm happy about that uh, and then we have Mercury going direct, I think on the 18th, is it? 18th or 17th, somewhere around then. Mercury goes direct, so probably second, no, third, fourth week of January. Why the hell was I getting February, March? That's for some of you. Maybe it's a bit of delayed, but um, there's some sort of good news that will be coming in after the 18th, I feel. Or you're going to be receiving some sort of like like thumbs up or like green light or like you're in the clear for something um maybe you haven't been feeling supported by people around you or in your family uh but yeah there's just been like a lot of tension lots of drama um yeah so anyways we're looking into death what is changing for virgo in january 2023 Tell me about death for Virgo in January 2023. Ace of Pentacles. So this is an opportunity, life-changing opportunity. This might be a new job for some of you. This might be a new career, an offering that comes in. Um, 
it could be money that you could be receiving inheritance for some of you or you could be receiving like a loan or just receiving a bunch of money out of nowhere that basically sets you free we have the king of swords so there's an opportunity for freedom freedom from some sort of toxicity whatever this devil is representing here talk about this death thank you eight of pentacles that eight of pentacles did fall on top of the devil reverse so it's like you working on a plan to leave behind toxicity you working on a plan to leave behind someone in your life look six of swords at the bottom of the deck you making a plan to leave behind something in your life that was very very draining very restricting very very overwhelming and had you stressing a lot you've had to remove yourself from that hermit there's your energy okay let me pull some more regarding death what are these changes i see that there's changes in regards to your money um okay we have a stack we have king of wands reverse nine of cups and the four of cups so there is this if you if you were once rejected if there is something that you were once rejected in or you maybe there's an idea that you once rejected or you turned down because it wasn't good enough or it didn't fit the plan or it didn't fit your vision um maybe you didn't have the motivation maybe you just didn't have the energy or the the drive or the confidence maybe you had a lot of doubt maybe you felt like it was too good to be true you're having a second chance to make this happen this time around so it's like some of you you're picking up a forgotten dream or if you had a business idea that you never acted on or you didn't have the courage to or you didn't have the support the financial ability to or to invest or whatever this time you do and this time it's like you're pos it's possible for you to achieve this and make this um like concrete in your life so another thing it's like if you were once if this is in regards to love if you were rejected by somebody it's like you get the opportunity to the offer comes in but you have to use your discernment is this what you want is this something that you want to put and invest energy into is this something that you want here you may you may not um but i'm seeing that there's like a second chance to something you're off you're being offered a second chance in some sort of way and this second chance is like what changes your life so it's like you get a second chance to do something that you've always hoped or prayed for or wanted but you felt like it was impossible or you felt like you didn't have the time or you felt like you didn't have the resources or the skills or you know now you have the chance you have the second chance to do this do what you really love doing um so now it's like okay let's plan let's get this serious let's really put your mind together and come up with a focus come up with a goal come up with how you're going to make this happen and secure this you got some choices to make on how you're going to make this happen what is this ending though ten of swords what is coming to an end in um january <laughs> it was like what month are we reading for how does ten of swords for virgo it, it, again it's some sort of change that's occurring in oh, let me just shut up <laughs> let me shut up for a second because that let me just let me just uh get this time kind of this time of swords what's this ending for virgo in january 2023 three of pentacles this could be change in regards to work you quitting your job you putting an end to something even an ending in a friendship someone that you trusted someone that you trusted betrayed or took advantage of you or lied to you or stole from you seven of pentacles coming out you obviously invested a whole lot of energy into this a lot you've been waiting eight of wands and the nine of swords reverse you've gotten clarity on this situation you know that you're better off you know that you're ah ooh, virgo geez um you it's very very clear that you're better off without this in your life one thousand percent although it hurts although it's painful you know that you're better off without this in your life without this stress without the burdens without the arguing without the competition or always someone trying to one-up you or compete with you or you know try and control you or diminish you or make you feel smaller than you actually are you know that kind of crap you've gotten full-on clarity about someone it's definitely about someone or it's something like it's either someone that you're dealing with or an environment that you're in whether it be home or work i'm not really feeling love here this feels more like it could be a friend or someone you live with co-worker um or even like a roommate but anyways you've gotten clarity here 
the sun. It's very clear. It's very obvious. You're actually happy about this ending, to be honest. You're probably very relieved about this. Considering that the, the sun is clarifying the Ten of Swords, you're happy about this ending. Although it hurts, although, you know, it was rough when you, this initially happened, it's like it set you free or like the truth has set you free here. And you now feel like a huge burden's been lifted or removed from your life. So that's at the bottom. You may have received some sort of news. Whatever this ending is, it could have been through news or through like a phone call or email or through some sort of conversation. But it seems like it's some sort of news here that you received that you were probably anticipating. So it's something about this ending. It's telling me that you have seen this coming. You were seeing this ending coming. You knew it was a matter of time. You just didn't know when. So the seven of pentacles to the eight of wands is like you were waiting on some sort of news or you were just waiting for the ball to drop. You were waiting for the... You were waiting for the bomb to go off, basically. It was a matter of time. You just didn't know when it was going to go down. But you had a sense, you had this You had this feeling that something was going to escalate and it finally reached its peak. And again, this might be dealing with um, someone that you work with or a friend or something like that. But again, you invested lots of time and energy into this. So it was only a matter of time before shit hit the fan, basically. Let's look into this. Oh shit, we're running out of time. But let me look into this five of wands reverse because look at how they're fighting here. So it seems like something escalated. And then I'll look into justice. We're going to wrap this up really soon. Five of wands reverse for Virgo. Five of Wands reverse for Virgo, Three of Swords. So this was very hurtful. Things someone was saying to you, someone was being very abusive, very controlling, very toxic, name calling, being very, very mean, very cruel. Um, Queen of Wands came out. So Queen of Wands, Eight of Cups. You know, Knight of Swords at the bottom too. So this this came on very abruptly. T Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. So there's a there's an energy where you go from this group setting to single so it's like you're removing someone from your life you're mood you're putting distance away some of you could be moving some of you are literally like packing your bags and you're gone um so there is some sort of argument or fallout and it, i i don't know man the fact that this this three of swords and the queen of wands i feel like someone could have been very 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 mean in like ways where like they, they were calling you horrible names or like speaking about like your appearance or something because the queen of wands she's she's known for her good looks and she's very she's very um attractive right and i feel as if someone was like making you doubt yourself or making you feel less than or making you like making you feel like a troll when you're a fucking like you're beautiful right someone was making you feel so much smaller and it was just so damaging to be in so this is what's coming to an end it's like there was a bad ending there was a bad argument that led to you walking away or moving or leaving this behind because you were like oh my god i can't have this in my life anymore this is it's, there's no going back from this um so let's look into justice here you know you're better off without this in your life 1000 percent virgo you're so much better without this in your life yeah you guys this shit's heavy talk about justice for libra oh not libra for virgo some of you got libra placements um talk about justice for i was about to do it again talk about justice for virgo in january we have the page of swords reverse you so this hasn't um hold on talk about justice for virgo seven of swords talk about justice for virgo five of swords and the ten of wands reverse okay so virgo so justice hasn't been served just yet it hasn't been served you're probably like waiting to hear about this karma justice doing its thing especially if you're dealing with legal matters like you're waiting maybe there's been delays again so someone feels like they were able to get away with what they did to you they you that and you may even feel like they got away with it the seven of swords someone was maybe lying about you or lying to you or yeah anyways um someone got away with their actions and the harm that they caused in your life and they they think that they won they think they won this game but they're about to have a wake up they're about to have a wake up call themselves they're about to have a huge reality check because justice is actually on your side and before you know it the tables are gonna turn you know what goes around always comes around what goes around comes around so this person they thought they got away with it they thought that they could just um 
go by unnoticed by the universe that their actions would never catch up to them but that's a bunch of bullshit that's not true it always comes back but for you virgo you already know that you know it's only a matter of time before this person has to face their consequences you on the other hand ten of wands reverse you are moving on with your life you're letting this go you're letting you're leaving it up to god you're leaving it up to the justice system you're leaving it up like your hands are clean you're focused on your you know the best revenge is success and and you define your success successfully happy successfully abundant financially in love in all forms but the revenge is the best success and or yeah success is the best revenge what the hell <laughs> i said it backwards Virgo. <laughs> bear with me but yeah it's just like you you are like they think that they have you like wrapped around their finger that you're still thinking about them and you're obsessing about the situation and that you're in pain and you're never going to move on they think that they have that much power over you they think that they still have power and control over you even if you're you're no longer a part of each other's lives but that's not true you let this go or you're working on letting this go and they they you basically have taken back your power they don't have this power over you because you have made changes and you've moved on to better things in your life so this person thinks <laughs> but like honestly who gives a fuck what they think let them think that but again they're gonna have a huge like smack of reality that hits them in the face one way or another coming up very soon and you may even hear about that maybe that's what this um this whole seven of pentacles eight of wands is like you waiting for the news that this person finally got their karma well, karma's coming for them basically so oh shit i was gonna get you advice <laughs> oh, i got so carried away clarifying virgo let me get you some advice about this situation is there any advice for virgo sun moon rising venus for january 2023 any advice for virgo regarding the situation in january what advice do you have for virgo any advice for virgo regarding the situation in january camel cool off that's the energy of the camel it's like you need to just chill you need to you, i can't even speak <laughs> you need to chill you need to spend some time alone you need to reconnect with yourself and honestly you need a break from all this crap if you can get away on like a little trip or go out in nature just have a break from this chaos and all this stress and just catch your breath whoo yeah this is like this whole thing has really tested your patience but you've done a good job and there's a reward that's coming your way for all of your efforts and for the basically all debt will be paid <laughs> even if someone like owes you money like you're gonna get your money back and even more um all debt will be paid off for you in all forms um especially karmic debt though right this what you went through does not go unnoticed and um there will be there will be um some sort of gain from this in the end all right but yeah so you're just needing to calm your energy try and get back to balanced and yeah jesus virgo what a chaotic little reading we got going on here you also have something new beginning earthworm at the bottom early stages uh hyena at the bottom which is talking about um uh, overcoming a lot of toxicity and clearing out a lot of crap so this is like the early stages you're like purifying and detoxifying your life on an energetic level a spiritual level uh emotional mental physical level like there's a huge purification process that you're going through and you're needing to just try and remain as grounded and as balanced as possible okay so virgo i'm gonna leave your reading here hang in there i'm sending you so much love your way things are on the upswing for you 1000 percent you're going through massive changes massive shifts and yeah just hang in there be kind and be gentle to yourself okay i'm gonna let you guys go let me know if this resonated leave a like comment down below subscribe if you'd like to book a private reading with me the information's in the description box and yeah with that being said bye virgo